Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a question here asked on LockerGnome.net. Is a TechNet subscription worth it? Of course, we're talking about Microsoft software. Uh, if you want to be a developer in Microsoft's universe, you pretty much need a TechNet subscription. Here's the thing. If you're a student, you can get a discount. And that's something that you would likely want to figure out how to do is get a discount on a TechNet subscription. Is it a good thing? Well, it depends. Do you want to be a programmer, a developer? Uh, do you want to know as much as you possibly can about the world of Microsoft and their software and their platforms and development software and services? Yes, a TechNet subscription is absolutely worth it. If you're a student, don't buy the full-on TechNet subscription. Buy the student discount. I mean, you can get it for cheaper. I don't know exactly why we're going into political debate still in the chat room, but I thought we'd move past that. Either way, let's go into a different kind of politics. Microsoft, software, subscriptions. Yeah, uh, I would say it is absolutely worth it. And you may not have the money to burn, right? But here's the thing. When you go uh, to a job interview, they're likely going to ask you, all right, so uh, what makes you smarter than the next guy? And you're going to say, well, I happen to uh, know how to do this, 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 and this. I want to do this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Well, uh, Microsoft, of course, has a foothold in uh, the corporate universe here, at least in America. I don't know how it is outside our borders. Maybe you could. Exactly. Meow Diva. Developers, 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 developers. I'm sweating like Balmer. That's for sure. Yes, it is worth it. You know, if only because you need to arm yourself with knowledge and practical usage. So let's say, for argument's sake, you're out of a job. Why would you want to spend money on a TechNet subscription? Because you want to stand out from the rest of the crowd, right? I mean, you do want a job, assumedly. And that job may require that you understand .NET, that you understand a bit about Azure, or, you know, cloud services that they're pushing forth. How are you going to do that? You're just going to guess? You, you, you're going to go to Bing? You, are you going to Bing something and think that that's going to get you every step of the way to where you want to be? You're likely going to need to use Microsoft's software. Get it at a discount if you're a student. If you're not, spend the money. Get your certification. I absolutely believe that. Not because I think Microsoft is awesome. Yes, they are. They're good. Great company do a lot of hiring around here in the Seattle area, that's for sure. But the point is, is if you don't have those qualifications, someone else will. If you haven't figured out how to use this software specifically to solve issues that are likely going to pop up in one job or another, someone else can. So yes, if that's in your future, a job, related to development, because if you're not a developer, a lot of that really doesn't make a lot of sense. If it's related to programming and services inside the Microsoft universe, absolutely. Having a TechNet subscription is important. And if you already have a job, I would say ask your boss if you can get a TechNet subscription so you can get all the downloads and the software and the service and the support that you possibly need from Microsoft to make something happen. And you know what? I'll say it. Microsoft, for as much as some people dislike them, have helped the world more than I do believe they've heard it. They've made it easier to get things done. Given us a common language, I guess if I can use that, uh, us, people, human beings, developers certainly, uh, and they've generally, over time, made it easier and easier to do. So, if you want to stay up to date on all the latest technologies, all the latest content coming out of the Microsoft universe in terms of development, software development, as opposed to uh, uh, 
wine development. Mm. Actually, it's it's not it's not wine. It's it's grapes uh, that are very 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 fermented at this point. Uh, wine developers probably don't need a TechNet subscription. Software developers, you gotta keep your knowledge up to date. <laughs>